Hi, I'm Renan Meyer for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. The Firebase team's event plans have changed this year, but one thing that hasn't changed is their commitment to you and all the great stuff you build. So we're trying something new to virtually bring everyone together with Firebase Live. Firebase Live is a new five-part weekly web series for developers, consisting of talks, tips, and technical tutorials to help you increase productivity and collaboration amongst your team. Every Tuesday at 9.30 a.m. PST from June 9 through July 7, we'll host a new video highlighting best practices and product updates. Everyone can watch the new video together and chat with members of the Firebase team and other developers along the way. After each video, the Firebase experts will answer all your burning questions live. All the details are in the blog post, which you can find linked in the description below on YouTube or by swiping up on Instagram. Firebase is also introducing the Emulator UI, a local web app that allows you to manage local emulators that make up the Firebase local emulator suite. The Emulator UI aims to give you the freedom to develop on Firebase without concerns about billing or breaking a shared environment. Check out the blog to learn more. The Flutter team would like to invite you to join them for Flutter Day, starting at 9am Pacific Time on June 25th and continuing for 24 hours worldwide. Featuring Code Labs with a 24-hour support channel, three one-hour video streams for you spread throughout the day, and some dedicated time for the ever-popular Ask Flutter, where you get to connect with members of the team on topics that you want to hear more about. Check out the link for more. Google Cloud is bringing Java 11 to Google Cloud Functions, an event-driven serverless compute platform that lets you run locally or in the cloud without having to provision servers. With Cloud Functions for Java 11, now in beta, you can use Java to build business-critical applications and integration layers and deploy the function in a fully managed environment complete with access to resources in a private VPC network. Java Functions will scale automatically based on your load. You can write HTTP functions to respond to HTTP events and background functions to process events sourced from various cloud and GCP services such as PubSub, Cloud Storage, Firestore, and more. Check out the link for all the details. This month, Google's Cloud Data Warehouse BigQuery turns 10. From its infancy as an internal Google product to its current status as a petabyte scale data warehouse helping customers make informed business decisions, it's been in a class of its own. The team got together to reflect on some of the technical milestones and memorable moments along the way. Check out the blog post to read some of those moments throughout the years. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Ray Demire for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.